Hi, it's Gary here again. Um, I'll just show you what we've done so, um, regarding the progress I'm making on my chest. Uh, it's been very slow. Uh, I haven't worked on it all that much, so and this is where I've got to so far. So I've got the completed um, strip word circuit. And I've got everything. I've got the uh, power lines there. I've got that's a uh, like a four hertz clock signal. Uh, the grey wire. That's the one hertz clock. I've got the pink. That's a left clock. Um, disable and the purple one is the right clock disable and <laughs> it took me a long time to get this done I really didn't uh, get on with uh, planning everything first I just uh, did a bit at a time got that got the clock going, got the flip-flop dividing the clock, the two hertz clock, got that going and I moved on to um, put these other three ICs on and then um, gradually connected things up and debugged it as I went. Uh, for me it was a very difficult process but as I say I'm very much a beginner at this so uh, I think I'm making quite good pro progress considering, you know, this is a haven't done, you know, I haven't done this kind of electronics at all really. Uh, it's only I've only been doing it in for a, you know, a few months really, a, a year in elapsed time, um, you know, a couple of. Uh, couple of weeks in like actual time spent on the thing and what I've done is I've connected it you see I've got the two 4026's there oh, I pulled everything else off the uh, breadboard uh, making way for you know the new logic and everything eventually the 4026's are going to go they're going to have uh, um, binary coded decimal counters and uh, there's going to be more digits here I'm going to work on uh, one display at a time now I still have the major issue I've got at the moment is if I if I uh, rattle the two buttons you'll see it might start skipping see and I've read about circuit debouncing and stuff like that but I don't I don't understand what but it, I don't think it's a debouncing issue because although those buttons bounce they're only set in a flip flop or on or off it doesn't matter they could bounce a hundred times it's not going to change the result um, in any case the output here clock disable outputs uh, they're, they're coming from the flip flop which uh, the flip flop's not going to not going to bounce in the same way that a switch would, so I don't understand. Maybe it's just some some uh, issue with the design of the 4026. Maybe the problem will go away when I switch to uh, uh, using uh, a different IC to do the counting. Uh, <laughs> that's hopeful. Otherwise, I'll have to look for ways to work around it. Um, I really haven't come up with any solution so far. Uh, I've tried messing about with putting capacitors across like power lines and stuff. I'm wondering if it's some kind of power glitch that is affecting it. I don't know. I don't know much about that stuff. Um, so that's all for now. Hope you got some kind of uh, entertainment value or some kind of. Uh, hope it was uh, slightly educational too. Um, until next time.